welcome everybody to my youtube channel my name is david ego and this is my youtube channel i need to get that line yeah i really need to so on this channel today i'm going to be explaining how to get um your star guides on your assets panel how to activate star guides on an assets panel that will be easy for us to rock with in a team and have it here as a go to automatically just like this select color palette select any colors of your choice really fast and have you work in a team really really fast so this is a rough work that we used to explain now um what i'll do is first of all go to design the figma community because the community has a whole lot of what people do not know we need yeah and then i'll check for design systems why because design systems contain style guides and like the component libraries documentation and all of that inside it and it's just going to make work easy when i'm explaining so if you have a design system or a style guide that's been designed somewhere i'm going to take this this is how you automatically activate it in your assets panel first is first um always like please 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 always like people's work on figma it's not easy just look at the animation so nice don't you like seeing it like you know i used to like this all the time how can we have 2.3k duplicates and then for two likes we need to do better so shout out to this person design system who created this i'm going to drop a link to design of this particular design system in the description below so moving forward i'm going to duplicate it just now after i have like that's the process the like thing duplicate and this is like the first time i'm recording this video sleep in my eye. i don't know i don't know does coffee work for you people because i i'm feeling sleepy i drank coffee uh what's happening if not for hmm. let this open shot and this design system yeah i'm just going to explain as i said before how to use this in any of your design file and then this i'm going to be publishing here the design style that I'm going to publish in here will mainly just be colors, um, form, no, colors, typos, and grid. Reason is that Figma doesn't allow you. Ooh. Okay. Figma doesn't. I was scared for a minute there. I don't know. Recently, my laptop has been glitchy and like the screen has been glitchy. You just stay and then you give God all the glory, shall. So now we have this style, guys. Open sans, very beautiful font already here we have these grids already made out right and then colors are already decided main colors now how do we have we, we know this is what we want and we want to have it in our star guides or you already have it designed and you want to have it in your star guide now instead of going to a page on figma and then copying it and pasting on that page is what you should do go to the assets panels the asset panel is towards the left hand side of the screen beside the layer panel assets panel and then click on the book icon called the team library now if you click on it, it's going to open a model beautiful model now this model allows you to publish now this is a design system with components and all of things inside right then automatically you see the current file the design system 0.2 committee and then you see publish hit publish now you're publishing the design system to your files and so everything you're going to be doing once you activate it so when you move to a team move to a team allows you to publish more like team libraries with uh, components libraries and all of that with forms button types and um, pro level shit yeah. but then free plan all of us you know should free we <laughs> uh that's what the free plan is for the free plan allows you to only publish styles only so you click on publish styles only and it shows you the styles that you want to publish right now you just have to click on the publish styles and it only publishes colors text and grids so it's publishing library, publishing, publish, publish. Yeah, you can publish a full design system. You guys just yawn on camera. <laughs> you can publish a full design system with buttons and all of that when you pay for it or when you're on free plan. Let's go back to Flexbox. Now in Flexbox, I'm going to be explaining how to activate these designs. So I'm going to come to the same assets panel right and then click on that same library the book looking icon click on it and it's going to show me 
uh, design files or libraries that have been opened. All I need to do is select the one I need. This current flexbox, and I don't need to select the one I need, the one I know from here. So, so far, so good. Yeah, where is this? This is already published, right? Yeah, it's already published. So, it's supposed to come up here. Yeah, look at it here under my draft. Is that 0.2? So, I'm going to either enable this from here or I open file open file open me this page and then you enable yeah so i'll just enable it from here and so when you open file this is what opens it that shows you the grid the colors and then the font and it's published so from here now you can select the grid you want for this particular frame from the list of grids that have been made available by him published it now. Now you can see this will come up. Now you can see this will come up. Uh, so many other things. So I will wait for the size right that is needed. Yeah. Then you can also see style guys like colors also embed embedded here. If you want to change the color, you have it set on your style guide that are published here already. So publish your team library if it's another folder, like publish it and then you can use it across drafts. So welcome to the TED talk. I think I'm done. Yeah, and if you don't get and you don't understand, please I'm always open to record a new video or to explain to you on the Zoom call on the meet on how to probably do this. So reach out to me, drop comments, like, share, tell me what you want to learn so I can make a video about it next week. And uh, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Yeah. I'm recording this with sleepy eyes because coffee automatically is not making me a week. Well, chill. Thank you so much.